meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. This is going to be a short meeting. We don't have a lot on our agenda. Um, and our attorney is not here. And... Uh, our auditor is not here today, so uh, Pam will be doing the duties for the auditor. First thing we'll do is, uh, since we don't have the county attorney, um, let's start with Michael. So not much quantity, but a lot of good quality. Right. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh. oh. He said yes. I need to get that signed. For our truck coming up, it's got the bid dates on it. And uh, all the accessories and all that kind of stuff. We'll actually do the bid in here. I think it falls on March 18th. It'll, it'll be uh, advertised the paper on the 4th and 8th. And I changed it around last time. I think I I had people bringing stuff into the 11 o'clock and the meeting didn't start till 1. So uh, this time um, the actual bids will be due at 11 o'clock but not right until maybe like 2 o'clock or something like that. So that's changed. Those are the specifications. Um, we'll keep those in the auditor's office and at the highway. Where do you need a signature on that? Then? The front here where your name's at. Okay. So I, I actually did that sheet myself so you didn't get the line. What day will the bids be on? What day did you talk about? Uh, the 18th. The 18th. March 18th. <clears throat> You did say this is a tandem. No, it, it's single X. It probably would be a single because of the cost, and we have something else related to the truck that we want to be able to get. <coughs> um, also, the uh, pressure washer over there is is uh, was old ten years ago, I guess. So we found another that we really need to have to keep the trucks clean inside and outside, and. Uh, I didn't want a tandem with a weak engine, okay? I'd rather have the single axle with with more power and that kind of thing. So uh, after talking with these guys, uh, two, a couple of the truck guys, um, and also with uh, W. Jones, I, I think with the money we had, we're going to be a lot better off to get the single axle. Um, it's going to be around the lakes, the tandem wouldn't work around the lakes too well. I think Casey's going to end up with that with, with the truck from He doesn't know that yet. But, uh, I, I think that'll be a better way for us to go. And if we have a little change left over, it'll allow us to get that pressure washer for all of the trucks um, to have there. So, uh, next thing is is the uh, uh, before you leave that point, we'll have to make a addendum to our CETA program under that because all we have listed is for a dump truck. And if we use any of that money from okay. CETA that you're going to have left over, we need to just add that sentence in there so okay. that it covers that so we show the expenditure. Actually, I think we have tandem axle dump truck. I and think. I don't have it here with me. but We were going to have the we'll good single and ta tandem, but... We found out the number is going to be too high. For oh, I, I, th I think the idea is good. We just yeah. have to make sure the seat is okay. yeah. pretty much just specific as to what we're... Because, see, this is a case where when we when we talked to the council last year, static request, like a tandem axle dump truck, that's been approved. Right. They could technically say we didn't approve a single axle dump truck and a pressure washer. So... Just, I'm just saying we need to make sure that's all clear. I've all, almost got my back to that thing. That's kind of how I do it. <laughs> he keeps moving it so he can catch me. Um, on the phones, Butch has been out, done a real good job, got real good phones in, hasn't started any training yet. Um, in doing that, also, you guys have uh, known about the cameras that we have on the uh, gasoline islands. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've seen it lately, it, for quite a while it's been really bad. The monitor it just showed up kind of in purple. And he wasn't sure if the cameras were bad or if it was at the monitor. Well, we took the, we had a small uh, 
TV set in, um, um, there that we use that we could put um, uh, film on for guys uh, if we if we had uh, little conference films or something on trucking or whatever. We put that out there and bypassed that monitor, and it, it came in really good. We know we have one camera that's down. There's two over there. So just using the one, it, it's very, very clear. It's not set up on the wall. We just put it on a stand uh, just to the left of uh, where Karen sits. Today it worked out already good because she ordered fuel, and she ordered diesel fuel. There was a new guy came, and he was hooking into the gasoline. We were we were three minutes away from we. Tim and I just came back from lunch, and Tim said, "Oh, what did you order?" And of course, she said, "Boom!" We ran over there and got him stopped. Um, but he was gonna he was gonna put all of that uh, diesel fuel in the in the gasoline tank, even though it's Don't, marked. Aren't those things color coded? Well, they're marked. They're it, marked. Okay. Yeah, but he was brand new. And it says, you know, in the bid, of course, he would know that. They're supposed to stop in at the office, make sure they get the right, the right place. Why would you put fuel in the wrong place just assuming that it's the right place, you know? But that's what he was going to do. Um, so, uh, uh, anyway, that that works. And he's now improved that, that whole film thing so, you, you know, it can be watched over there. Um, there's a lot of reasons for that. I, I don't know exactly all the reasons that Whitley County put it in, but people can put um, be putting fuel in their car or truck or whatever, and it doesn't shut off. If you're not watching that, those things can run for 10 or 15 minutes if you've gone in someplace and you come back out and there's, there's fuel all over the place. So there, there's a lot of reasons, not just for theft or something like that on, on those uh, cameras, but anyway, to get a chance to stop in, it's really clear one, right now. One of the reasons it was done is because, truthfully, we had bus drivers cleaning their buses out and putting their garbage, even though it was clearly it's clearly marked. It's only f that those garbage containers are only for something used, like I would use a pair of gloves to fuel up, and I could put the gloves in there. But um, that was one of the reasons, and 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 if that happens. Then we need to get that bus number and, and report it to the school system and say, tell them to stop emptying there. <coughs> we don't want their garbage. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so there's a lot of reasons to have uh, cameras on that fuel system. Anyway, we lost a monitor. We'll, be, we'll pick up a monitor now. We, we need to get something better. Um, the, the other one that it was a little flat screen. It was only one of those little things like this, and the guys couldn't see it. He sat it out there, and... And we're trying to teach them something off of a film anyway, and we're trying to run more of those to the insurance company and do that kind of thing on rainy days and that kind so of thing for the guys a anyway. TV or do you need a monitor? No, we'll get a like a 32-inch flat screen for either 250 yeah. bucks or less. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's what I was wondering. Okay. Um, anyway, Butch is coming back to work on the phones. He's got a few uh, things to tweak in there yet, but. Um, uh, other than that, all the, the uh, wires are ran, the phones are in, and that kind of thing. Um, I think the main thing that, I, that I'm down here for, hopefully there's we have some questions, but it deals with the county line. And, uh, you know, we were over and, and talked to Allen County commissioners, and uh, um, I think guys were maybe a little undecisive before we got there. Um, then there was a, some other people that came into the meeting that talked and by the time that meeting was over it seemed like we were more for the project. Um, there, there's only one thing that I would like to add that, uh, that I, I hope that we think about. Um, the next meeting was supposed to be our commissioners with their commissioners and they were maybe going to accept um, or not accept a deal the commissioners made on spacing our money out, maybe thirty-three thousand a year for three years, definitely not a hundred thousand the first year. Uh, and they were going to see if they could make that work. Um, the next thing and last thing that that we really should think about. So far, I think that you know that a lot of things have gone their way on this on this.
project so far. Um, I think we need to remember it is our county line. They're putting more money into it, but also by assessed valuation, their assessed valuation is much higher than ours, and they should be putting more money in it, and their 85% traffic is Allen County traffic, and therefore I think there should be more money in it. We're now down to the part, if we're, <coughs> if we're going to do this, uh, I think we need to really let them know that this is our county line. It's not theirs. And there's one big part left in this yet. And that's where Bill and I are supposed to put together uh, a team of people, probably will be three, it's got to be, should be an odd number, uh, to do the selection process. And it, there's a process that it has to be filed in rating your consultants that want this job. Um, and, and, and I know the, the problem that's going to come up is Bill's going to want to put two Allen County people in there and want me to stick one Whitley County person in there and I can tell you already who the consultant's going to be. And I think since it's our county line and we're now going from a no to a yes uh, that we should get something out of it and that should at least be on our own county line we should have two votes to their one vote. And, and it is going to come out that way one way or the other. Either Alan's going to get two votes and we get one, or we're getting two and they're getting one. And because it's our county line, I, I think we need to to fight for that one and get that one. And, and listening to them last week, I mean, they really wanted this <coughs> project because of, um, you know, the area. Um, the, the, I, don't, I don't buy any part of the, the clean air thing that, that is tied into this, but, um, um, you know, th this, I, I think they wanted this project at least at one time a lot more than we did. I still think it'll help uh, their 85% traffic a lot more than, than, than ours, and at, at this point, we should get something out of it. For $100,000 and our county line, we should at least get to do the have two people on that selection team of three, um, and who knows who that'll come out to be. There, there might be seven or eight people, consultants, um, that want that job. And what you have to do is interview those company, these three people that we bring in. They interview them, and then they rate them, like, like from one to ten. Uh, no different here than, than when we do the bridge process. Uh, I think last time we did that a couple of years ago, Brandon and I did that, and we pretty much agreed on everything all the way through, and ended up we agreed on who the who the consultant should be. But uh, we don't get many chances to pick a consultant here, and um, Allen County maybe five or six times a year they they're picking consultants and putting in places for projects that they have, and uh, I really think that we should have a balance in there, whether it's the, the number is three, or whether we have five people on that selection team, you know, we should either have two, or, or we should we should have three. And, um, you know, I guess I'd like to see us kind of hang in there a little bit longer and, and uh, have them tell us why that doesn't work. And I think the only reason it wouldn't work for them is because they want to pick the consultant. It's not going to be so much about the project. It's going to be because they want to pick the consultant. And I won't even name that person, but all of us can name who it's going to be. Why? Why? I'm not sure what why means. Why? Yeah. Why means why do they want? To oh. <coughs> well, excuse me. Yeah. The right to pick the consultant. <clears throat> and from this discussion, I'm kind of getting from it that they have one picked and maybe you have one picked and they're not the same person. Wow, they're, you are they're astute. <laughs> well, it can't, that's the that, whole problem, And Tom. that's why you don't have one that's, and one. That's, that's why a, it's going to be two on one side and one on the other. Well, I don't want to get, there. don't put me on there because I don't 
want to get in this battle about whether we want one or two consultants. Yeah, and you wouldn't put a commissioner on there. Um, does that mean that the, that the process doesn't work? That, that the, the picking, you know... Uh, you usually don't have two counties mixed in on this process. But it's still usually that just process one county should, and one process. Even, even at that, if you're interviewing and you're, you're rating the consultants, that should work whether there's two counties or one county involved in that. Not in real life. Guys, in real life, that consultant is known before the rating ever starts. That's, that's the real life of this. And been around this whole system and this whole thing for, you know, I, you don't want me to mention years again, but uh, that's how it works. You go in there knowing who the consultant's going to be, and then you rate to have that consultant. <coughs> Was this project not driven by a consultant to start with? Yes. Okay. I mean, that, that's who drove this project. I just, I'm not going to get involved in, in how many consultants there are or anything. I think we've done our, our part. I don't, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry, I don't really have a feel like the way you do. I, 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 I it's important for you. I, I know who you want and I know who they want. And I guess if they could work together, that'd be fine. But that's not my bailiwick. Right. I'm not. But it's still a part of the job. Somebody, there has to be a selection. Good. I'm not going to be a part of this. And, and, right. And, but, but in that selection, one, Everybody should want a consultant that can do the job, first of all. But I think every consultant, you can name 20 consultants, they all can do the job. They all have the same software. They're all engineers, you know, doing this. Those plans are going to come out exactly the same no matter what consultant you use. But we do have consultants that come here, and they come here, and they do good things here. And eventually, if... if Eventually, there won't be any. If you just read between the lines, there, there, there won't be any here. Don't have to read between the lines. And I, I appreciate all the things they've done. Yeah. But that doesn't sway me from from making a decision. No. I, I, it doesn't sway me at all. I I I I hear you when you say, but it's our project. I guess technically it's our project. It's our county line. Is what but I'm saying. I think they are the 900-pound gorilla here, and Allen County is the 900-pound gorilla here, and, and I, I, don't, I guess I just don't have a feel for it. I don't, I don't care whether okay. I have one consultant. Well, I'm only two, bringing up. I'm only giving you my opinion. Well, I know, but we've heard this from day one. From day one, what we've heard is there has to be multiple consultants. Okay, fine. I think our thing is, do we want to finance this project or do we not want to finance this project? And, and, and well, I'm just not giving sure. you my opinion. I don't know what multiple consultants means. I, I'm not for multiple consultants in any way, so I, I'm not sure exactly what that means. Well, okay, the way it was explained to me is by you a while back, you wanted one to do this type of engineering and this one, and you wanted another one for construction and inspection. Now, do you deny saying that? No. Okay. But, but that was turned down. That's multiple and our, in, the, in the meeting we had with Allen County, they said no to that. We asked them and they said no, so that's okay. out. Okay, okay, okay. Because that was, that was going to be my next point. Yeah. Because what I heard them clearly say is they're only going to work with one consultant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. so that, that whole thing is, is out. I was trying to get it to where... All right. There was a blend where, where you know, you can use theirs and whoever ours is. Yeah. Uh, I can think of a lot of good people, not just one. But um, <clears throat> I thought you could make everybody happy. Well, in, in their answer over their last week or whenever it was, they said no to that. And they said one selection team, one selection sure. winner. That's what they said. That's exactly and if that right. person can't do the job, then it's up to them to get people to help them do the job, but um, okay. well, um, if I could finish my statement yeah, I started sorry. making a little bit ago. Uh, if we have two people, two firms, and they're more or less, <coughs> excuse me, uh, been decided kind of who you want or who 
Mr. Hartman or the commissioners there one. How can this be a level playing field to the other five?